see more collection and a more active horse in the very beginning, but maybe he livens up when you put him more through, which she's done now. Um, so they'll be looking at the paces, walk, trot and canter mark, and also each movement here will be getting a mark as in a, a, as a test. So they have a combination of the actual test and the young horse paces mark. You divide them by two and you end up with an overall result. Okay, so a little bit late, but still okay. It's in collected canter, preceding collected trot. Track left, HXF medium trot. Shoulder and right in the two half circles. Looking for a really good regularity, nice swinging back. Could show a little bit more suppleness and more swing in the tail. Better in the half pass to the left. G on the center line and then you track right. So quarters across a little more. Flexion right, there's not a lot of flexion here. Now stretching, half a circle, R to S in a stretching circle. You want to see that the horse's trot straight, the horse's trot remains exactly the same. It's not to get too different in the tempo or the cadence. And that's why that's there. You don't want to see a horse that's got too much production of the trot. It needs to be more normal for these young horse classes. Now we have extended trot, which is different to the collected trot. And there's a mark for the transitions at M and K. So it's very important in these six row classes to see the horse starting to develop an up, more uphill way of going and a real development of collection. Now we have the shoulder and left. And now the two half circles and the half pass. Quarters leading in the beginning won't help that mark. And then at C, medium walk. Track left and then medium walk CH, which looks really nice medium walk. It could have a little more over track for medium. It's only barely tracking up. Now H to B, extended walk. So you need to see a big over track, which was lacking a little here. So in these young horse classes, it's important to, what's really important is to have a huge over track so that you get a very good mark for the walk because you've got to mark walk, trot, canter, submission perspective. So the walk is worth 10 marks. Just for that bit of walk, you're gonna get a mark out of 10. So the extended is very important. Now the half pirouettes. Make certain that the hind leg keep the activity. The horse looks a little to the left. Pole's a little bit low for collected walk, it needs to be more uphill, and it could step a little bit better away in the first couple of steps from the rider's outside leg. Susan Elakesi from Canberra, a very well respected rider and trainer. Um, I know the mare, regardless, I think a horse also that can be the young horse classes that's now a young rider horse that was, was originally owned by Liza Carver, is also out of regardless, quarters leading a little in the half pass right.
That's a very long test, huh? Extended canter could be a little bit more positive again. Collected canter in the change. Now we have the half pirouette. Fx, proceed towards the X in collected canter. That's too big, but it's working pirouette between one and three meters, so maybe it's not too big at all. Three meters is very large, really, for, for a working, working pirouette, but it, it was certainly within those realms and good control, so she shouldn't get marked down for that. The KA, the counter canter. A flying change, now the collected canter, and three changes every fourth stride. Oopsie. Oh, no, sorry. It's the working pirouette first. And then the counter canter and the flying change, like in the pre St. George. Quite a big test for these six-year-olds. Now we have three fours. She actually looked like she rode a three to me, uh, but it, it was a three and then a four. And it is from F to S, SR, half circle 20 meters and give and retake the reins. Seven-year-olds, you know, I'm getting ages mixed up. Seven-year-old class, it's like a pre and George test, really. And down the center line, halt and the immobility. Sitting on a 71.111. Not quite up with the winning horse. Which was Elliot Patterson on River Oak Vogue. It's still a nice test here for Susan. And we thank uh, PSI for their sponsorship of the entire competition here at Dressage with the Stars. But our live streaming sponsors being Hike, 